Good morning. I am delegated to deliver a statement of the Prime Minister, and I'm going to do just that. Allow me to express my regret for not being able to personally be with you today at this fourth regional roundtable for Africa and Middle East. This is due to other equally important responsibilities. I wish to commend UNEP FI and NAMIBRI for organizing this event, bringing together members and stakeholders from across the region to accelerate the transaction to greener, inclusive, and sustainable development pathways. Sustainability is a crucial topic that is of utmost importance to our nations and the world at large. In an era defined by environmental challenges and rapid economic changes, it is imperative that we understand why sustainability matters and how we can transform our country using sustainable finance. Namibia, a land of breathtaking beauty and rich biodiversity, is not immune to global challenges we face. Climate change loom large. With rising temperatures, erratic weather patterns, and increasing natural disasters, climate change puts our natural resources under pressure. And the delicate balance of our ecosystem is being disrupted. Unsustainable practice have far-reaching social, economic implications, threatening the well-being and livelihood of our people. It is therefore within this context that we must turn our attention to the concept of sustainability or sustainable finance. Sustainable finance involves integrating environmental, social, and governance consideration into financial decision making, ensuring that economic growth is pursued in harmony with environmental preservation and social well-being. By embracing sustainable finance, we can transform Namibia into a beacon of sustainability and a model the world to follow. Let us now explore the path to this transformation. Firstly, it is important to not treat sustainability as an afterthought. It must be a guiding principle in our decision-making processes. Our policies should promote green and sustainable policies, such as renewable energy, efficient resource management, and sustainable agriculture. To achieve this, we need a robust regulatory framework for sustainable finance. Laws and regulations should encourage responsible investment practices incentivize environmentally friendly projects and ensure transparency and accountability in financial transactions. By doing so, we create an environment where sustainable investment thrive, supporting our economic development with safeguarding, while safeguarding our national heritage. However, the responsibility of transformation does not lie with government alone. We must foster and encourage partnership between the government, private sector, and civil society. Collaboration is key to upholding the full potential of sustainable finance. By working together, we can leverage our collective expertise, resources, and innovation to accelerate the adoption of sustainable practice across sectors. Moreover, we must acknowledge the importance of financial incentives. Encouraging and rewarding sustainable investment will attract capital flows into projects and align with our sustainability goals. By creating favorable conditions for invest investors, we stimulate, we stimulate economic growth, generate employment opportunities, and ensure the long-term well-being of our people. Ladies and gentlemen, the benefit of embracing sustainable finance are endless. Firstly, it will lead to environmental benefits. By conserving our natural resources, protecting our ecosystems, and adopting clean technology, we can ensure a resilient 
and sustainable environment for future generations. Secondly, sustainable finance offers economic advantages. It promotes the creation of green jobs, drives innovation, and positions Namibia as a destination for sustainable investment. Lastly, sustainable finance enhance, enhances social equity, improving the quality of life for all Namibians and addressing social disparities. Of course, transformation is not without challenges. We must address potential obstacles and find innovative solutions. Education and capacity building are key to equip our workforce with the necessary skill for sustainable practices. By investing in education and training programs, we empower our citizens to actively participate in sustainable development of our nation. Further, inclusivity is also crucial. We must ensure that all stakeholders, especially local communities, are involved in decision-making processes, promoting social cohesion and equitable development. Director of Ceremonies, in conclusion, Namibia stands at a crossroad. We have the opportunity to chart a course towards a sustainable future, one that respects our natural environment, that can take us on transformative journey. It is our collective responsibility as government, private sector, and citizens to embrace sustainable finance and create a better future for all. Let us join hands, united in our commitment to sustainability, and build a nation that thrives in harmony with nature, where prosperity is shared by all, and where future generations can flourish. Together we can make sustainability not just a choice, but a way of life. With these few words, ladies and gentlemen, I wish you a fruitful deliberation on how we can transform a region into lead, a leading center of sustainability to protect our present and future. I thank you very much for your attention.